This high school boy wanted to make rockets to fulfill his dream of flying into the sky. He was testing the first rocket. It can't fly, but exploded on the spot. The second rocket flew in arc line and hit the father, which made his face black. What the hell are you doing? But not to give up, he tried one more time, then the rocket still flew unsteadily. Be carefully, this man told them that the rocket flew in an arc because the heat was very great, which caused its tail melted. They should use steel that would be better. But they didn't have money to buy steel. They made a plan to steal the rails, but it was really difficult to pry a rail up. Suddenly, there was a train approaching. Stop, stop, they shouted. Fortunately, the train didn't go over the rails they were prying. Then, they sold these rails and bought steel to continue testing the rocket. They began to test once, twice, and then three times, but the rocket wasn't still flying in the right direction. But he never gave up, because he wanted to bring his product to the National Science Exhibition, and get a college scholarship. He lived in a poor and remote town. People in town work for live mainly on a coal mine. His father is a director of the coal plant. His elder brother is very handsome and talented. He was the leader of the school's football team, and he even recruited directly into the university. His father was very proud of his elder brother. As for him, not only his health isn't good, but also his academic performance always ranks at the bottom of the class. His father didn't expect much from him, even didn't hope for anything. His father just hoped him graduate quickly, and then work in the coal factory. But he didn't want to do that. One night, he saw the world's first satellite flying across the sky. He thought he had a dream to pursue. In the meal he said, Dad, I want to make a rocket. Let's eat, his father told him. He invited a few his friends to work on the rocket making plan. At first everyone laughed at him so much. His father also scolded him badly, and prohibited him from hanging out with these friends. Although he was very sad, he persevered to pursue his dream. After many failures, they also learned many valuable lessons. They found that there were bubbles in the fuel, and if the temperature rose rapidly, the rocket would explode. So they added high concentration alcohol to the fuel to create a new fuel. They hurriedly ran to the launch pad, but there were many people here. Moreover, there were also friends of his elder brother. They began to install launch pad and fix the rocket, then pulled ignition device. They hoped this test would be successful. The rocket flew up to leave a trail of white smoke that carried the teenager's dream flying into the blue sky. We were successful, they were extremely excited. Everyone was also very surprised and applauded. This was also the first time they felt the sense of success. But there were also many troubles happening. Then they appeared in the newspaper. So he quickly became famous. Before, his classmates laughed at him, but now flatter him. Hot Girl also proactively talked with him. There was also a cheerleading team coming here. He prepared to launch the second rocket. 3, 2, 1. The rocket flew into the blue sky within 12 seconds. This second rocket was superior to the previous one. The teacher also encouraged him to try hard in order to make rockets flying into space in the future. She also gave him a book, Principles of Rocket Design. This book contained many complex equations, and he was very happy. But trouble happened to him again. A forest located 5 kilometers from the launch pad was burned and the rocket shell was also found out there. Then the police came and arrested him to the police station. His father was furious, but he also bailed him out of the police station. His father said that he was very ashamed of him. His father just wanted him to study properly. He later succeeded his father to work at the coal factory. His father has never come to see any of his son's rocket experiments before. And he also has troubles. Therefore, his dream of making rockets seemed to fall apart. He also burned the making rocket research room. Then he and his friends left quietly. One day, the coal mine was collapsed, which caused a worker death. His father was seriously injured and taken to the hospital. But the company only paid part of the hospital fees, they must pay for the rest. Due to the high hospital fee, his whole family was in a difficult situation. His elder brother wanted to drop out of school to work at the coal factory. But he just got a scholarship to enter directly to college. If his brother didn't go to school, his future would be lost. Seeing that, he made a decision. He would work at the coal factory. The next morning, he wore his uniform, put on a helmet, and began to work at the coal mine. In the lift, he looked up at the sky. It carried his dream up there, but now, that dream is difficult to come true. Dream and reality are very far apart. After that, he had become an excellent miner. His father's health was also better. Now he is very proud of his son. But his son wasn't happy because he didn't want to do this job in his whole life. One day, he received the new. The teacher who encouraged him to pursue his dream in the past had cancer, and she also couldn't live much longer. He was very sad, but the teacher continued to encourage. You have great goals and dreams, so you should continue to pursue them. The teacher said her biggest wish was to see him attend to the science exhibition and get the scholarship. The teacher's encouragement changed his mind. Now he wants to pursue his dream. He began to read the book his teacher gave him in the past and tried to study the knowledge he had read. He has a very smart classmate. His friend did the math and found out that the fire in the forest before wasn't caused by them. He also determined the position of rocket when falling down. He did a very detailed and careful calculation. He even had to cross streams, jungles to do that. They finally found the position of the dropped rocket. He took this rocket to the school and began to write a lot of complex equations on the board. And they proved that their rocket only fell as far as 2 kilometers, but not 5 kilometers. Through that, they also found the real culprit that caused the fire. 
What is this? This wasn't a rocket, just a kind of aviation flare. Making rockets turned a weak student into a good one. After everything was clear, they came back to school. In the science exhibition, the rocket that they designed won first prize. They would represent the school to participate in the national science exhibition. Although he had reached such achievements, his father still didn't support him. He still wanted his son to inherit his career. That was just the dream of his father, as for him, he wanted to make rockets flying into the sky. So he and his father quarreled. He said if he won the final round, he could go to college and worked at the rocket research center. There's nothing here because the coal mine also is about to run out. Only dad doesn't dare face reality, said he. If you want to do that, you quickly get out, his father told him. Okay, I will go. Get out, I will go. He swore he never come back again, then he quickly left. He took the train to the science exhibition. In the exhibition, their rocket attracted many people to see, and it became the main focus of the whole hall. But then the rocket was stolen. Tomorrow is the deadline to evaluate, what should they do? He called his friends for help, knowing his son was having trouble. His father mobilized the workers in the workshop to remake rockets within a night. Everyone in town cheered for him. Come on, Homer, good luck, baby. The next day, the award ceremony began. The rocket they designed won first prize. He happily approached the stage to receive the award. Everyone came to congratulate him in turn. He was offered admission by prestigious universities. He was so confused and didn't know how to do. He was really surprised and excited. When coming to his hometown, people in the whole town welcomed him. He has become the pride of the town. The last rocket was about to be launched. He went to find his father and invited him to attend because he knew that his successes today had all of his father's help. Finally, he also understood his dad. Actually they are the same having both intelligence, persistence, but they are just different points of view. At 5 p.m., the last rocket would fly straight into the sky. Finally, the father also came. He was very happy and gave his father to press the button to launch this rocket. The rocket flew up into the sky, went through clouds and turned into a small point floating in the air. People in the whole town were touched because this rocket has carried the teenager's dream flying into the sky. He finally became the pride of his father. This movie named October Sky is inspired by a true story. Eventually, the main actor became an engineer for NASA.